What's going on everyone? This is D22 with you today from D22 Responses and today is going to be another Windows Movie Maker tutorial. Now a lot of people didn't understand what they were supposed to do on Windows Movie Maker. Now Windows Live Movie Maker is a very limited editing software. Sometimes it won't do what you want. So what we're going to do here is we're going to give you a basic structure of what it can do. I covered that in two other videos. You can see those in the annotations in this video. So we're going to get started right now. Let's say we're going to open up a project. So let's go new project. And then we got a project there. And basically what you do is you go add videos and photos. So for example, we're going to add this short video. That's basically me just saying something quickly. Basically we just added our video here and we are going to do our effects. So what you can also do is you can also add music. So you can go add music or add music to current point. So let's say we go far in a point. We're gonna go up to at least 25, 11 seconds. That's a flattering picture. Anyways, we're gonna go add music and add music at the current point. So then what you do here is you're going to let's say add your uh, sound effects here and then let's just add this sample of music so basically what will happen here is we played our music or we put our music at that point where we stopped so if you see this face the music's gonna play I'll show you what I mean take a look at this <laughs> As you can see, what we did was we added music to the current point in the video. So you can basically add music to the start of the video, and you can also add it at the end. Now, here's, here's an example. Let's say we reach the end of the video. We can go add music to current point, and then that's also going to be like that. But it just depends on the length of the video. So you see that what we added is here what we already added like another part of the music that we added so we can just delete that by pressing the delete key and then that's that's our video that's how you add music to your video you can add it either to the point that starts everything off or you can add it to another point in time so let's say you want to cue music and you want to review the music then you can add it at that point so what you can also do is you can add your titles to the video. So let's go to title, then we can enter text, like say, my movie sucks. Anyways, so you can add that and then you can just customize however you want, make it a certain size, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Well, my movie, well, my movie won't actually suck, but that's the that's the uh, example. That's an example right there. <laughs> you can add uh, various transitions to it. So let's say we want to add a transition at the current point so let's go play back let's play it back here let's delete it so let's say you want to start off at the beginning here and then you want to add your transition so you go to title and to your text suck sucky movie and then you start off the transition at the beginning or you can either do a fade in or fade out so let's say we'll go spin in so we'll add that and then there's your transition and then you can also add a transition at the end so you drag this little thing here this little thing here sort of represents the points and where you can select it in the movie so what you can do is you can add on to anything that you want it's pretty standard and then you can set the start time being 12.12 12 seconds and then the total duration will be like 22 seconds so you can let the movie go across here and then you can let it keep going you can just keep the title in there and then it'll just overlap so you can set the length of the transition that's text tools you can also set transparency as well you can make it like very translucent opaque in a way now what this software does not do and I repeat does not do you cannot green screen with it you cannot color correct with it you cannot chroma key with it. It's the same thing. You can't do any of the advanced stuff on this software. You just can't. You have to get Sony Vegas or CyberLink PowerDirector Pro 
or Adobe After Effects. This is standard software. You can't chroma key on Windows Live Movie Maker. I have people ask me, can you chroma key on this? You cannot chroma key on Windows Live Movie Maker. It's physically and entirely impossible to do that on here. And if many people thought they would do that, they're they're not really looking into the spectrum of the software. This is a limited software, but a lot of people have to use this, so I'm afraid that's not possible. So if you're thinking of chroma keying in this, you're absolutely not going to be very happy about what I'm saying here. So anyways, you can go to animations, you can set the animations in the transitions here. It's the same thing as adding uh, titles. You can click on the title here, and then you can set the transition however you want and so forth. So we're going to delete that. This whole part on the right side here represents your timeline. That's like the actual portion of it, but you can also change the thumbnail size. You can zoom in, you can zoom out however you want. This little bar here represents the time that you want. So that gives us our transitions like that. So let's review everything we did here. We added a title down below. The background here is just a blank back black background. We add okay, we added a transition, we added the title, and then there's a transition on the movie screen there. So you can overlap the title and you can also shorten the length of time that it takes to get the title there. So you can set the duration on it by clicking on it and then boom, you shorten the time span. And then you can move it around. As for cutting, like editing and cutting scenes, what you do is you right click on here and then you go and then it cuts that certain part out and then what you do is you go split you can split the scene so what you do is you right click and you click split those are basically your jump cuts you can do jump cutting in this if you use the split function so let's say we want to do multiple splits here we're going to delete this and then we're going to do some jump cuts here so what we're going to do is we're going to get the same movie again we're going to delete the music off of there. Then we're going to do some simple jump cuts. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this part out. So you right click and split and then you delete and then it just has 22 seconds. So you just split apart a movie. So right click again, split again, right click again, you split again, you right click again, you split again, and then you right click again then you split again. You can split the movie in many different portions and that is how you jump cut because here it doesn't really give you like a timeline or audio bar graph or any sort of guide it basically relies on this little black thin line that allows you to cut so that's all you got that's all you got so if you put it at the precise point and then split it splits it up so you can delete that and just look how far you can go. You've basically shortened your clip to however length you want it. So that's basically how you can split the scene and do jump cuts in Windows Movie Maker. Windows Live Movie Maker, I should say. Windows Movie Maker, I think, had a little bit more functionality, but Windows Movie Maker only comes in Windows XP. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go use the auto movie function. So we're going to delete everything here again and then we're gonna add the video that we just put in here I mean this is a good example this 25 second video what we're gonna do is go to auto movie and then it'll ask you do you want to use auto movie to help you make a movie quickly to help you make a movie quickly and easily auto movie automatically adds a title credits and cross fade transitions between items and also adds pan and zoom effects to photos and fits your project into one or more songs you can have the option to not show this message again because that's a mouthful and then you can click OK and then you go music hasn't been added do you want to add a song so we'll go yes and then it'll take us to the song folder and we just add our song so what we'll do is we'll just pick the same song again the Sunday vlog song and then auto movies done you can make other changes to add your own special touches or share your movie now and then you go don't show this message again then you go to close so what we've done here was that it automatically created a movie for us using the auto movie tool and then this is what you get. So basically this is my movie. Then it has a transition there. And then after that, it ends. The movie ends right there. So basically your movie ends after that. So that is the general 
idea of an auto movie. It automatically gives you a movie. It automatically adds footage from your video folder, adds a song, adds a title and an ending title card, and that's your movie. A lot of people usually would go for that. But you can also change everything around. You can also change the text. You can go, you can just double click here, then you can change your text. Some bot, or if you're grammatically correct, somebody. So you can change it to somebody, and then the, the end will be changed to, you double click here to make your edit end. And then what you do is you can change the font as well. You can change the size of the text like so. You have to make sure that it all fits in here. And then after that, you can change it. You can change the font. Now, these custom fonts I got from thefont.com, and you can get those fonts too. Because you don't usually see these fonts in Windows Movie Maker. Ah, doesn't that look nice? You can also change the size to 200 point. Now, I like this because it's big. So, what we've done here was that we've modified the auto movie preferences so that we change it to however we want. So, we already know this part. And then, as you go to the title card, you can customize the font however you want, color, background, okay we don't want to play that again. Good song though, but don't want to repeat it too many times. Anyways, that is how you automatically make a movie. Now, a lot of people have been asking me, can you do voice dubs over it? I'm pretty sure you can as long as you have a microphone built into your computer. I'm not sure if that has that tool, but it usually would if you have the microphone attached because what it only has is that it only has the formatting tools the options to set transitions and music volume you can also set uh, music volume start times you can allow it to fade in and fade out do like a slow fade in and a fast fade out so that's what you can do with the music so if you click on the music here you can set the start time to let's say one second 1.8 seconds so what we did here was that we moved it forward and it has that one second delay. It has that one second time to play the music. So after one second, it'll play your song. And then it'll end at around 61.99 seconds. Because this isn't a very long movie. And then once you're done, you can go audio mix. And then you can mix between the video and the music. So let's try this. So it faded in the audio. So what we can do is we can just roll it back and then you can mix it all together, which is pretty cool. And then for this, what you do is you can also set visual effects. So that's your that's your threshold effect. That's your black and white. That's the crossfade effect and then so forth and so forth and so forth. So generally, this is how you edit a movie in Windows Live Movie Maker. Now like I said, you only have the basic tools. There's no other editing that you can do other than jump cutting, custom titles, and ending, put in music, and that's it. You can't do picture-in-picture -picture videos you can't do voice narrations unless you have a microphone hooked in and you go into like the music options and then you can set it in. You can't do any of those things in Windows Movie Maker. I'm sorry, but you just can't. The only thing that you can do is put movies and pictures in and then do like a tribute or something. But in terms of a high-end editing software, this is the lowest of the low. And I don't like saying it, but this is just a free editing software. You get what it comes with. If you want better editing software, either go buy it or ask a friend to use it. So other than that, I can't really teach you anything else on Windows Movie Maker other than what I have covered in the last two Windows Movie Maker videos. So this is just a guideline on what you can do 
and I've already told you what you can't do. So other than that, that's pretty much all I can say. So until then, get fueled for life and I'll respond to you another time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.